Use ChatGPT to write SQL queries. SQL is a powerful tool for managing and manipulating data in relational databases. Whether you are a database professional or just getting started with SQL, you might sometime find yourself in need of assistance or inspiration when writing complex queries. That's where ChatGPT comes in. In this video, we will explore how you can use ChatGPT to help you write SQL queries complete with examples. Let's explore some common SQL query scenarios and see how ChatGPT can assist you. Number 1. Basic Select Queries Suppose you have a table called Employees and you want to retrieve the names of all employees. You can start by asking ChatGPT Like, I will say, can you help me write an SQL query to select all employee names from the employees table? To select all employee names from the employees table, you can use the following SQL query. This is the SQL code. This query will retrieve the names of all employees stored in the employees table. Number 2. Filtering data. Let's say you need to retrieve the names of employees who work in the sales department. You can ask ChatGPT for a query to do this. Like I will say, how can I Write an SQL query to select employee names from the sales department. To select employee names specifically from the sales department, assuming there is a column named department in the employees table, you got the SQL code. This query will retrieve the names of employees who belong to the sales department from the employees table. Adjust the column name department and department name sales accordingly if they differ in your database schema. Number 3. Aggregating data. Suppose you want to find the average salary of all employees. ChatGPT can help with that too. For example, I will say, I need an SQL query to calculate the average salary of all employees. To calculate the average salary of all employees, you can use the following SQL query. This is the SQL code. This query will calculate the average salary of all employees stored in the employees table and display the results as average salary. Number 4. Joining tables Joining tables can be tricky, but ChatGPT can provide guidance. Let's say you have two tables, employees and departments and you want to retrieve a list of employees along with their department names. In this scenario, I will say, How do I write an SQL query to join the employees and departments tables to get a list of employees with their department names? To join the employees and departments tables to retrieve a list of employees with their corresponding department names, you can use the following SQL query. This is the SQL code. 
This is the explanation for the code. Number 5. Ordering and limiting results. If you want to retrieve the top 10 highest paid employees, you can ask ChatGPT for help with ordering and limiting results. For example, I will say, can you provide me with an SQL query to select the top 10 highest paid employees? To select the top 10 highest paid employees, you can use the following SQL query. This is the SQL code. This is the explanation for the code. Now, let's see 20 prompts to use with ChatGPT to help you write SQL queries. Prompt 1. I will say, write an SQL query to select all records from the customer's table. 2. Retrieve all records from the customer's table in SQL, you can use the following query. This is the SQL code. Copy the code from here. This query will fetch all columns for every record in the customer's table. From 2. I will say, how can I retrieve the total number of orders placed by each customer from the orders table? To retrieve the total number of orders placed by each customer from the order table, you can use the following SQL query. This is the SQL code. This query will count the number of orders for each unique customer ID in the orders table and display the total count as total orders for each customer. Prompt 3. I will say, I need an SQL query to find the most expensive product in the products table. To find the most expensive product in the products table, you can use the following SQL query. This is the SQL code. This query will retrieve all details of the product with the highest price by sorting the products in descending order based on the price column and then limiting the result to just one row, which represents the most expensive product. Prompt 4. I will say, Can you help me write a query to update the email address of a specific customer in the customer's table? To update the email address of a particular customer in the customer's table, you can use this SQL query as an example. This is the SQL code. This is the explanation for the code. Prompt 5. I will say, write an SQL query to calculate the total revenue from the orders table. To calculate the total revenue from the orders table, assuming there is a column named total price representing the total price of each order, this is the SQL code. This query uses the sum function to add up the values in the total price column for all orders in the orders table. Prompt 6. I will say, how do I join the employees and departments tables and retrieve the department names for each employee? 
to retrieve the department names for each employee by joining the employees and departments tables you can use the following sql query this is the sql code this is the explanation for the code prompt 7 i will say provide an sql query to find the top 5 products with the highest sales volume from the sales table to find the top 5 products with the highest sales volume from the sales table you can use the following sql query this is the sql code this is the explanation for the code prompt 8 i will say i want to delete or records from the inventory table that have a quantity of zero can you assist with the query to delete or records from the inventory table where the quantity is zero you can use the following sql query this is the sql code this is the explanation for the code prompt 9 i will say write an sql query to retrieve the names and ages of all employees whose age is greater than 30. To retrieve the names and ages of all employees whose age is greater than 30, you can use the following SQL query. This is the SQL code. This is the explanation for the code. Prompt 10. I will say, how can I add a new product to the products table with a specified name, price and category? To add a new product to the products table with a specified name, price and category, you can use an SQL query with the insert into statement here is an example. This is the SQL code. This is the explanation for the code. Prompt 11. I will say, I need an SQL query to find the average rating of products in the product reviews table. To find the average rating of products in the product reviews table, you can use the following SQL query. This is the SQL code. This is the explanation for the code. From 12, I will say provide a query to list all employees who have not been assigned to any project in the project stable to list all employees who have not been assigned to any project in the project stable you can use the following sql query this is the sql code this is the explanation for the code from 13 i will say how can i find the total number of unique customers who made a purchase in the last month from the orders table. To find the total number of unique customers who made a purchase in the last month from the orders table, you can use the following SQL query. This is the SQL code. This is the explanation for the code. Prompt 14. I will say, write an SQL query to find the top three categories with the highest product count in the products table. To find the top three categories with the highest product count in the products table, 
you can use the following SQL query. This is the SQL code. This is the explanation for the code. Prompt 15. I will say, I want to retrieve the order details for a specific order ID from the order details table. Can you help me with the query? To retrieve the order details for a specific order ID from the order details table, you can use the following SQL query as an example. This is the SQL code. This is the explanation for the code. Prompt 16. I will say, provide an SQL query to update the prices of all products in the products table by applying a 10% discount. To update the prices of all products in the products table by applying a 10% discount, you can use the following SQL query. This is the SQL code. This is the explanation for the code. Prompt 17. I will say, how can I find the total sales revenue for each year from the sales table grouped by year. To find the total sales revenue for each year from the sales table, you can use the following SQL query. This is the SQL code. This is the explanation for the code. Prompt 18. I will say write an SQL query to retrieve the names of all employees who have the word manager in their job title. To retrieve the names of all employees who have the word manager in their job title, you can use the following SQL query. This is the SQL code. This is the explanation for the code. Prompt 19. I will say, I need a query to identify the products that have been out of stock for more than 30 days from the inventory table. To identify the products that have been out of stock for more than 30 days from the inventory table, you can use the following SQL query. This is the SQL code. This is the explanation for the code. Prompt 20. I will say, provide an SQL query to calculate the total salary expense for each department in the employees table, grouped by department. To calculate the total salary expense for each department in the employees table, you can use the following SQL query. This is the SQL code. This query sums up the salary column for each department using some salary and groups the results by the department column in the employees table. Adjust column names to match your database schema. I am done with showing you 20 prompts to use with ChatGPT to help you write SQL queries. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thank you for watching this video.